All right, all right, all right. You guys. Welcome to the school. Good old Professor Hypnotic is coming back at you today with yet another Pokemon Sword and Shield uh, tutorial video. This will be a quick one, and it's going to be all about how to transfer egg moves from one Pokemon to another. You see, in previous games, back in the old days, if you wanted a Pokemon to have an egg move, you had to breed it and it had to hatch with that move. It was the only way to obtain it. Uh, but in Pokemon Sword and Shield, they've actually given us a mechanic that allows us to transfer an egg move from one Pokemon over to another. It's super, super useful especially if you maybe catch a wild shiny and you want that shiny to have an egg move but it wasn't born with it that's fine we can make it happen now and I'm going to show you how to do it but before we jump into it I want to give a quick shout out to Nurse Killjoy uh, Nurse Killjoy left a comment on my previous video uh, went to the the battle tower in Winden and used the feature that allows us to bring transferred Pokemon into competitive battles and unfortunately it goes through and it erases some of your old moves uh, and Nurse Killjoy lost Soak uh, on their lantern. So um, Nurse Killjoy, this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to get Soak back onto your lantern. We're literally going to use lantern in this video as our example, and we're going to we're going to take care of it for you. So let's do it. All right, all right. So here we are. We're cold chilling in front of the daycare. Uh, you can use either daycare for this. It doesn't matter. But the daycare is what we're going to use to get the egg move from one Pokemon over to another. Now, what you're going to need is you're going to need two Pokemon of the same species uh, that you are trying to move the egg move uh, from. So let me let me go over this real quick. I'll, I'll show you what I'm working with here in my party. I've got a female lantern right here in my party, and it knows Aqua Ring, Flail, Takedown, and Hydro Pump, right? It doesn't have Soak, and Soak is an egg move. So if we go to the Move Rememberer, the, re the Move Rememberer isn't gonna help us get Soak because it's an egg move. But I also have another lantern right below it in my party here that does know the move Soak. I went and I bred myself a lantern that has an egg move. It hatched with Soak. Uh, and you'll notice this one is a male. Uh, and the one that I want to move it on to is a female. This is important. They have to be opposite gender Pokemon to be able to move an egg move from one to the other. So you want to make sure you match that up. If this lantern right here that I wanted to soak on was male, then I would want the one that is going into the daycare with it to be female. Uh, in this case, it's reversed. Uh, the one that doesn't have the move is female. So we're going to use a lantern that is male uh, that knows soak to get it over there. Um, Important to note, another important piece of information, you have to use the same species of Pokemon. It has to be identical. So if I tried to do this with a pre-evolution, if I tried to do this trick with a Chinchou, it would not work. It has to be the same Pokemon. So in this case, we have to use two lanterns. But before we do, before we try to get Soak onto my female lantern here, we have to prep it. We have to go to a Pokemon Center and we have to delete a move and make a spot uh, open and available for Soak to go into. So let's go take care of that real quick. All right, so here we are. We're at the uh, Move Rememberer slash Move Deleter. Uh, we're going to click on it here and we're going to say forget a move, right? Uh, which move should I forget? Again, this can be done at any Pokemon Center. Just go to any Pokemon Center and that's where you'll find um, this feature. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to the lantern that I want to put the egg move on we're gonna click on it and we're going to delete a move um, I don't really care about any of these moves so I'm just gonna delete aqua ring now keep in mind if the other Pokemon that you plan on moving the egg move from has multiple egg moves you need to make multiple open spots on the Pokemon it's going to because it's just gonna choose one if you only have one open spot it's just going to choose one of the egg moves and move it over. Um, so to guarantee that you get the one you want, uh, you're going to want to have as many open spots as the opposite Pokemon has egg moves. So if my other lantern has two egg moves, I want to make two open spots just to guarantee and I don't end up getting the one that I didn't want in the first place. I hope that makes sense. That's the best way I can say it. Uh, but in this case, we only have one egg move on the other lantern. So we're just going to roll hot here. Uh, we don't need to forget any other moves. Now we can take a look at my female lantern and it should have an open spot. Yep. Flail takedown hydro pump. It only knows three moves. So let's uh, head back to the daycare and let's pull this off. All right, so here we are back at the daycare in the wild area. I'm going to click on the breeder nursery lady here, and I'm going to say I'd like to leave Pokemon, and I'm going to leave my female lantern with the open slot, and I'm going to leave my male lantern with the egg move soak um, on uh, um, at, or at the daycare here. She's going to charge me a thousand Poke dollars. That's good, great, grand, and wonderful. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to ride around until it makes us an egg. So I'm just going to save you the, the hassle and skip forward. 
All right, there she goes. She just made us an egg. So we're going to take the egg. So now this will be a Chin Chow egg, right? Now you can actually decline this egg. I actually don't know why I even took it. You can just decline this egg because all we're waiting for is the daycare to make an egg. Once the two parents generate an egg, that's kind of the mechanism that triggers the egg move to transfer from one to the other. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my two parents back now. Let's see, we'll take both lanterns, the female and the male. Boom, boom. There we go. And let's go check our party and see what happened. We'll come over to the, the old summary and you'll see my female lantern now has has uh, soak. Flail, takedown, hydro pump, soak on the lantern that we wanted to get it on. This lantern was not born with soak, but there we go. We got the egg move over there. Again, I don't know why I took this egg from the daycare lady. You don't need to take the egg. You can just basically uh, reject it. But um, when, it, when it generates an egg, that's basically the mechanism that triggers the egg move to move over from one to the other. And that's why you have to have two opposite gender parents. I have seen some people uh, online and in forums claim that you can use two of the same gender Pokemon. I've tried it doesn't work no matter how long I ride around, it never transfers the, the move over. Um, it seems to me that the two parents have to make an egg to initiate the transfer. So there you go. I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, I know you're out there, Nurse Killjoy. I hope this helps you get your soak back onto your lantern. Um, and yeah, if this, if this video was helpful in any way, shape or form, please, please, please remember to like and remember to subscribe. Uh, as I'm saying this, I believe I'm literally 36 subscribers away from 1000 and that's a huge milestone on YouTube. So if this was helpful. Please remember to like, please remember to subscribe. Uh, there's also links down in the description. Uh, follow me on Twitch and follow me on Twitter. Um, if, if you have a question, you can always pop into a live stream on Twitch, ask me and I will help you. Uh, if any of my uh, tutorials or videos confuse you, I will literally help you live on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash hypnotic melodic link is down in the description. Uh, follow me on Twitter as well. Um, I'm always chatting with people on Twitter. So if you have a question, you can ask me there and I'll respond as well. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope it helped you out, Nurse Killjoy. Um, until next time, y'all know the deal. Always, always wash your hands when you want to eat, but always keep them dirty enough to see where you come from. I love you guys. All right, peace.